Happy morning, it's your girl, JLP87 here, and today we're going to get into some fall eye looks. So I shot one already using the Shroud Cosmetics Arcana palette, but today I'm going to use another indie brand, so I'm going to use the Give Me Glow Vintage Rose today. I believe this is still in stock. Do not quote me. I don't know if it is or not, because y'all know I don't even know when this video is going to go up, so it might not be in stock when I put it up. Don't be yelling at me if it's not, okay? Ain't my fault. Leave me alone. Um, I'm going to use a few simple shades, so I'm going to take this shade this shade i'm thinking we might use that shade and then this shade for the inner corner so i'm trying to keep it pretty simple when i usually use this palette i usually always try to use this shade or the greens and of course y'all know i just had to use the green because it's fall and the green matches my shirt but i was like i'm gonna try to calm down on how much of the green i use so i'm gonna start off with the green in the outer v and i'm thinking about adding the brown on top of it or i might just keep it simple and do the brown and the um other colors and not dip into the green but like you know it's me so I don't see that being a thing that you know I would be able to do realistically um I always have to use the green if it is present so if it's present I'm gonna use it so I'm just start off with the brown shade now to be and I think I'm gonna darken it with the green but first I'm gonna take the brown all the way across on both sides and then we're gonna go in with the green on the to focus it more on the outer V because I that's where I really want it to be like grungy and per prominent. And then I'm going with that um bouquet shade that I showed you that's next to the green and use that. But yeah, so I'm really just trying to smoke out and grunge out this velvet petal shade that I just started putting on the lid. I mean on the eye. I bought a few palettes over the weekend. I mean, over last weekend, and I bought the Pat McGrath one today. I actually bought the Charlotte Tilbury one today, too, because I actually um like her bigger ones, apparently, because I got the, um, what's that palette? Um, the, crap, what is the name of it? Um, uh, it's like I'm a lot. Oh, the um, the the pillow talk one. I don't know how I forgot that because like she pillow talks everything to death. I'm told. So I got that one. Y'all, I've been up since um seven p.m. yesterday. So it's like I think nine thirty or something. So forgive me if I'm uh and then taking a minute. It's because I've been up you know way too long, and I'm probably gonna be up even longer because my mom has to go to the doctor and y'all know my grandma has dementia and they get into stuff like little kids. So I have to try to sit up. With her till my mom gets back so I can, you know, so that she doesn't ramsack through the house and do God knows what. Um, so I figured while I was up, we're gonna shoot some makeup videos. I'm gonna take this refer number 15 and do that. So that's why it took me so long to name the palette. But I got her a little holiday palette or whatever, because um she sent me a ten percent off coupon. And I and I'm part of the early access list now because it's like I only signed up for that because it's like I want to get that highlighter. Like I regret not getting it when it first came to um Sephora for early access, but I was like, I didn't know how you all were going to feel about seeing it or if you wanted to see it at all. I'm going to compare it to the other, like, Charlotte Tilbury face palette I have. I think I already have that and took it to my grandmother's house. If not, I'm going to go in the room when Adrian's on his break from school and um get that. Um, So next, we're going to take this thorn shade, and I'm going to just use the same brush. Um, I got to make a removal wipe here from where I took my first eye look off because we're on the second eye look of the day, believe it or not. So I'm on a roll. I literally came in the house, like showered, and I did this since I knew I had to stay awake. And I'm, I was hoping like shooting some videos would help me stay awake. I was thinking about doing some fall essential like makeup video like I did last year of just some eyeshadow palettes this time as opposed to, you know, like um the whole shebang and whatnot. So I think I'm gonna film that today too, so I can do some content videos instead of just, you know, always showing an eyeshadow look. Anyway, let me dust this off my hand real quick. Then we're gonna take that green shade and just trying to darken out this outer V a little bit like so i'm really just trying to focus on the outer V as you can see i'm not you know i'm not trying to go into to the crease in any way i really just want this part to be dark so it'll be kind of a little bit more of a focal point for after we get the shimmer on the lid okay so it's giving me that 
grungy darkness I was looking for, so I'm using it. I'm doing the same thing this side. Turn so you can see what I'm doing. So I need to do a little bit more of this shade right here. So I'm trying to be literally just right in this part, like right here. I wish I was good at winged eyeliner because I might dare try it. I still might dare and try it because occasionally I still try to do winged eyeliner every now and again. Because, you know, practice makes perfect and all that good stuff there. And I bought, I always buy Stila Glitter, um, Stila, um, liners during 21 Days of Beauty because, um, everybody talks about how wonderful they are and then, like, I hardly ever use them. So, I'll probably start breaking those out and start using them. I think I'm actually going to try to do a wing with this one, but I'm going to try to take cute pictures first. So, just in case the wing looks jacked up, y'all don't have to look at that foolishness. <laughs> but I'm going to take the cleaning brush again and go over, like, the edge just a little bit here. On both sides. Mm, God, I just poked myself in the eye. Ah. Okay, so we're going to take the star of the show, which is Bouquet, this one right here, and just put that all over the lid real quick. Um, Let me get a, a lid brush for that, because right now I just have a random brush out. I should probably get one of the made for the lid. Or... But I have a tendency to like to use the um, blended brushes people like to use in their crease to put lid shades on. I don't know why I just do. Um, but I'm going to try to be good today and just use a regular lid shade. So this is the Packer shade from Dominique Cosmetics um, makeup line. I will use that one and put it all over the lid like so. And look at that. Yes. Look how gorgeous that is. It's giving me just the effect I wanted. And pack it right up to where the smokiness of the is but not too far to where you can't see the green we don't want to cover it up so yeah i'm definitely i'm feeling the girl yes it's a vibe just reminded me why i like give me glow and this palette their shimmers are wonderful and y'all saw those mattes blended out nicely i didn't have to sit there and blend it too long so i definitely recommend this brand i need to order the highlighters from them i just saw karen harris talking about them. i meant to order them sooner it was like part of their summer collection but Y'all know sometimes I like stuff gets away from me because I've made other things to do. Like I still need the, the, the Prime Beauty new um setting powders. But it's like I have to pace myself because I don't know when Mother's going to launch the um quads because she only launched the one palette today. I'm like, Mother, why couldn't you launch the quads and the one palette with me? Like if I hadn't got the highlighter and, you know, I wouldn't have been as hurt. I mean, I'd have been hurt. Don't don't get this twisted. I'd have been hurt. But like I wouldn't be hurt like I would if I miss out on these quads because if I miss out on these quads, I'm at to hunt some people now. And I saw Charlotte Tilbury has a quad that's really similar to the one that uh, Mother's coming out with. So I'm like, hmm, I might need to just go ahead and grab both. And then we just compare them bad boys. So I'm thinking we're going to do that. We'll see. So I'm trying to decide between Copper Rose and Blossom. Because I feel like I normally use Blossom when it comes to inner corner. So we might use Copper Rose. But let's watch both of them just to see. This is what they look like. This is Blossom, the one I normally use, and Copper Rose. So that's Copper Rose and that's Blossom. I'm thinking I want to use Copper Rose just because I feel like I always use Blossom. I mean, like always. But I feel like since it's the lightest shimmer in there and these are such dark, vampy shades, sometimes I just feel like, you know, the lighter one is just the easier and simplest one to look to give you that extra pop in the look. But today we're going to go in with Copper Rose. Matter of fact, hold on. We might use the green shade in the inner corner instead since we didn't get to use it on the lid. This is the color thorn. Look at that. Um, I'm thinking we're going to use Thorn instead. So let me go ahead and wipe this other shade off. My bad. I was going to use you, but see what happened was it was green in the palette. So that, that just ended your life right there. Um, <laughs> I'm going to take Thorn and just pop it on our inner corner real quick. Okay, so I'm thinking it's looking flashy enough. I'm curious though if we put um blossom on top of it, what it would do. 
So I'm thinking I'm going to swatch it on my hand and see what it'll do just to be safe because I'm fine with it the way it is now. And then if I like the way it is, then we can always just, you know, do it and see, you know, we'll have seen how it looks. Okay, so it makes this interesting, like, I feel like somewhat silverish taupey type shade. So I think we're just going to leave it the way it is. Because I feel like it's giving me a little more like bleeding heart, grungy, valentine, sweetest day type vibes. And I'm here for it. It's, it's definitely a vibe. So yeah, we are going to be pretty much done with this eye look. I have a simple lip on. I have on one of the new glosses from Tower 28. This is the color Cashew. This is the color I desperately wanted. I ended up buying another shade thanks to Karen Harris's. This is the shade Almond. I'll use that in another video though. I think I'm going to use it in my last video of the day. Believe it or not, I only have two more palettes to do y'all. And then I will be done. I didn't pull out that many palettes last week to do. So I might be able to refilm. I mean, redo some eye looks of um, thumbnails I need to make that I shot at night that I didn't get a chance to because they didn't turn out the way I wanted them to. But anyway, this is the finished eye look using the Give Me Glow Vintage Rose Palette. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Remember, y'all are diamonds. I got to go take a look at me. I think I'm sexy selfies. So I'll see you guys in the next one. <laughs> Bye.